The tourist industry is very, very important to Los Angeles. It's one of our keystone industries. Actually, it's the second largest in terms of employment, and it's an industry that has good growth potential, although we're in a, a period of distress right now. We don't always have gang warfare in the streets. We don't always have uh, drug-related incidents in your backyard. Uh, we don't always have freeway shootings and things like that. I mean, th those are significant negative images that get uh, a high degree of publicity, and it just doesn't happen everywhere. LA's visibility for its troubles, be they earthquake, an incident like the Rodney King uh, beating, or the killings of some Japanese tourists uh, tend to get much more visibility because they happened in LA and the press tends to to jump on those things and we do have an image problem. And imagine talking to a meeting planner, a middle-level person whose job is dependent upon the wisdom of that choice. We can convince that individual the events and the things that they can do when they're here is, are wonderful. But what if upon making that recommendation the spouse of a member of the board says, but I won't go to Los Angeles. Now that's an image issue. To reposition Los Angeles as a strong competitor in the travel and convention markets, the tourism industry has developed a plan that includes extensive advertising and an expanded convention center. What we have to do in, in addressing that image is not to deny the existence of those troubles because that is, first of all, it's not true. That we, we do have those troubles, but, but to accentuate the positive. I think campaigns like the I Love LA campaign that's being discussed, I think will go a long way towards changing the image of LA. Another factor is the uh, convention center. LA is currently building a new convention box that's under construction now, which will be a significant first step in that, in changing that direction. There are basically 460 national associations that are prospective customers for that $500 million thing called the Convention Center. We're all fighting after the same ones. Those five markets, and basically it's Los Angeles and San Diego and Anaheim, uh, Las Vegas and San Francisco. If we are to move our share of market to 20%, it's going to have to come out of somebody's hide. Well, Los Angeles is not small and charming like San Francisco. It's not big and glitzy uh, in terms of Las Vegas. Uh, it doesn't have Disneyland right downtown. So let's accentuate the positives and try to make people aware that Los Angeles is fun, it's safe, and it's clean. The average tourist in Los Angeles these days might as well be visiting white South Africa he or she will encounter approximately the same levels of fortification, of security, and, and of paranoia. Hundreds of affluent communities are now protected by gates, walls, private police, while on the other side, in the inner city, uh, whole neighborhoods, even a mile square, have been barricaded off by the police to become narcotic enforcement zones. Everywhere public space is disappearing. Uh, everywhere the city streets are becoming meaner. And the city just literally bristles with malice. Nowadays, at any time, anywhere, any place, you just as easily be a victim. We're talking north, south, east, west, doesn't matter where. They're, they're in some, uh, some have been Beverly Hills, some have been Century City, Westwood, um, Culver City. Los Angeles is the most seriously gang-afflicted city in, in, in the country. I would base that statement ba on the number of gang members that we have here, which somewhere is in the vicinity of 100,000, that uh, the number of gangs somewhere in the vicinity of 950 to 1,000, um, the numbers of crimes that are committed by the gang members. So probably in all indicia, uh, including violence, you would have to say that Los Angeles is number one. That's a very bad figure to talk about, but it's in fact true. I don't think that there's much that can be done to control the way the media chooses to view LA. I think that in some cases, what we have to do is attack the problem.
The consequences for all of Los Angeles of a tourism industry plan that attacks the problems of image and an inadequate convention center without also providing for the industry's workforce are already playing themselves out here in Lenox. Just east of the Los Angeles airport hotels, this small community is home to the largest concentration of tourism workers in the county. When I first came here, I thought to myself, this area is in the poverty area. The houses look fine. But then you walk behind the apartment buildings and you find a whole other group of apartments. You walk inside and you find three or four families, you know, living together, just crowded together. The significance of the kind of densities that we see in places like Lenox is that it represents for us a symptom of many of the economic woes of this area. Because these workers do not have any uh, health insurance provided by their job, they have to come where they can receive health services, which creates a great backlog and strain and burden on the public health system. I'm sure the hotels see public health as being a way to have their people taken care of without them having to put out any monies in terms of the strain upon the county hospital system. The result overall is continued drain from the public coffers because those funds have to be made up in some form or written up off as losses. What I don't like about the neighborhood is the gang. They go after you. They take your stuff away from you. You got, what, about eight gangs here in Lennox at least? Bad thing about it, everybody, they all grew up together, and uh, now they're all fighting each other. I went in to clean the room. I didn't see anyone. The bathroom was in a mess. Everything had been knocked over. Suddenly, a man came out from behind the bed, pointing a gun at me. I screamed. I thought he was going to kill me right there. The other maids ran away, so I ran out and slammed the door as hard as I could. If you visit hotels, most of the time you're safe in most hotels in, this, in the city and county. We generally don't have much gang activity in the hotels. But when you visit hotels in certain areas and you wander off the hotel grounds or you're not careful what you're doing at what time of night on the hotel grounds, you may have some trouble. Good, back well, then. Literally, back then, the jobs. It wasn't like nowadays, everybody, you know, can't find a place to work. No money. What we've seen in the last couple of years is an end to the great kind of endless summer of Southern California prosperity. This is an economy that's going to have to face double-digit unemployment uh, for the foreseeable future. If we let things go on their own, my vision is that the polarization that we've seen, the widening divide, will become worse. We will have a group that's permanently trapped in poverty. They've become much more alienated from society, alienated from the mainstream of the economy, and all the social consequences that come with it. The hotel industry in, in the city is in the midst of a major offensive to reduce its cost of labor at the same time that it's trying to rebuild the image of Los Angeles as a tourist paradise. Well, one of the reasons why Los Angeles isn't a tourist paradise is because so many hundreds of thousands of people in this city earn only poverty wages, to which the hotel industry is now trying to make a major contribution. It seems to me that this is a, you know, a contradiction. The hotel industry is only feeding the, the vicious circle of, of low wages and immiseration, which is making Los Angeles the city that most people don't want to see. Any type of a disruption to the tourist industry, a strike or whatever, uh, it's going to be quickly picked up, uh, it's going to be amplified, and this will be just another reason that people will say, okay, let's, uh, let's go to Orlando. I think that a strike would uh, definitely hurt the convention segment, the image that a strike would create, it would certainly be negative to those meeting planners looking three to five years downstream. If there was a significant labor and management dispute 
in Los in greater Los Angeles with respect to the hotel industry I think it would have a significant negative impact on the uh, environment as overall or the image of Los Angeles it would be another um, factor to add to the litany of sins that LA has committed in the last few years but what you've got to look at is it's a very competitive industry and so you've got to have a motivated workforce a workforce that feels that they're involved in the whole process and that just includes uh, informing your workforce, compensating them well, giving them benefits, and bringing them into the mainstream. And I think that's the critical thing. You know, uh, don't take advantage of anybody. Don't, don't take anybody for granted, especially your workforce. My opinion on employers cutting back on employee benefits is one approach to uh, making hotels more viable in the current economic climate is it, it could help a little in the short term but hurt a lot in the long term. Uh, I believe that the service industry all around the country has an image problem. It's never been considered the most de desirable uh, industry to work in, and uh, taking away benefits that uh, uh, mean a lot to employees these days would, would certainly hurt the industry's ability to attract and keep the best people in the long run. As it moves toward becoming Los Angeles' largest employer, the tourism industry sets the pace for the city's economy. If the industry traps more of LA's workforce in permanent poverty, the city's image problem will also become permanent. But the tourism industry can choose to lead Los Angeles in a different direction. It can provide for its workforce and ensure tourism's growth at the same time. For now, LA remains a city on the edge.